how's everybody doing today and as you can see we're doing something a little different we're gonna be taking my first impressions of rbi baseball because for xbox there really isn't a baseball game that they have to play there's super, super mega baseball 2 and really there's just rbi baseball that xbox can play so i wanted to see how it compares to mlb the show and if you really should just go out and get a playstation to get a good baseball game or not so right away my first impressions with like the menus and stuff where they were pretty clean pretty nice looking um i hopped into a game to check out gameplay animations the graphics how they looked and that's supposed to be Ariata on the mound that's supposed to be zobras hitting so automatically i was a little let down and i decided to hop into the settings because i didn't like the batting angle like the batting camera you can't change it which is a little disappointing so you have to stick with this batting camera and you have to do the same for pitching as well and then i decided to look at the controls and they're pretty straightforward um the thing that i found that was kind of weird was there's no like batting pci you don't really move the a pci to hit the ball you move the batter which i thought was kind of weird and then on top of that for pitching as well it's the same way you kind of move the pitcher on the mound left or right for a location there's no pci and for pitch selection you push up down left or right for pitch selection and then you just press a and that throws a different type of pitch it was like a fastball a slow um a br like breaking a change up there really weren't names for the pitches it's just you push your direction and then press a looking at hitting I just really didn't like the fact that you couldn't change the camera angle like it makes it really difficult to kind of judge the the how the ball's gonna break where the ball's located it makes it kind of difficult to hit and it was actually a little disappointing that you couldn't remove the camera angle around and it made it it was a little bit it just kind of took away from the gameplay it just wasn't easy to hit it was kind of weird and something that I just didn't really like and then even with pitching it was the same way you can't really locate your pitches you kind of just throw it you move the pitcher left or right on the mound and you just throw it it's kind of weird that that's the only way to locate where you want to swing or where you want to pitch so from there gameplay wise it's a little lackluster looking at animations they really weren't fluid and that was something that I was again disappointed in it, it felt like i was playing like a retro mode or a game that was made in like the early 2000s and had a little bit better graphics that's really what it felt like when i was playing this game animations defensively really weren't there um they were kind of sliding across the field it just wasn't fluid it looked it literally looked like i was playing like a game from the early 2000s that's what it felt like defensively i'm all over the place even input wasn't quick um there were a couple clips here where i'm going to show double play where it i was literally smashing to throw the ball and they still took like one or two seconds before they reacted to it and this is actually one of those clips where you can see chris bryant yeah he makes a quick throw to second but right here i was hitting b hitting or not yeah hitting b hitting b hitting b and it just wouldn't throw it to first which i thought was really weird like i want a quick reaction from a player i don't want to just have to smash b constantly to get a reaction from my fielder which i thought was really weird so i decided to hop into a second game just to see you know if i got a little bit more comfortable with gameplay and stuff like that and i decided to pick the team with the cover star the astros and i decided to go against the blue jays because they have the canadian cover star as well i thought that was a hit like he didn't really look like um he got under the ball there. that was a little bit weird for me and it actually worked out really well because in the game you can't really do a there's no replays which i thought was weird you can't like press pause and go into a replay screen you just have to hope you get like a cut scene and here i wanted to see what bragman's likeness was to his real life self and it kind of looks like him but it looks like they just did a really basic face scan and then put it on a generic body which is a little disappointing to see you know i would think that you would want to make this as realistic as possible you would want to bring out a quality game in terms of graphics and in terms of gameplay and it's just 
not clean graphically and it's just gameplay wise the animations just aren't there you guys can see that was a really like routine ground ball and two back-to-back -back plays almost i had my second baseman and my shortstop have to go backwards to retrieve a ground ball i thought that just was so bad animation wise they're just not good and so i heard there were rumors of franchise being updated a little bit and i guess they just released franchise in last year's installment of the game so i thought you know what let's see how we could do this year see how the game is and i've decided to make trades on strict so that it would be somewhat realistic i guess turned off injuries not too many settings to choose from and then once you get into the game you can kind of see it's a pretty basic menu for franchise there's not too much in depth um in terms of rosters or anything like that when you see your roster you basically have your lineup um your bench and then you can see your pitchers there's not too much um that varies in this screen it's basically pretty straightforward you got your starting rotation you got your bullpen and that you got you got your four lineups um with your dh and without your dh so it was pretty straightforward nothing too in depth i do like the way the menus look they're very clean they're pretty responsive um another thing i noticed in franchise there's no miners which was a little disappointing i like to have a farm system i like to be able to develop youth players and in this you don't have that you have i think it was like 15 players that you can put in a reserve pool so that if you ever have an injury that you can throw those players into the team but outside of that there's not too much obviously there's free agents and then there's something cool about this you guys can see that there's legends before 1993 and there's also legends after 93 you know there's some players like johnny bench rod carew orlando cepeda um they have aj perzinski jorge posada andrew um adam dunn not andrew dunn adam dunn jason giambi craig council so some names that mlb doesn't currently have and um some names that they do but really there's not too much in terms of depth in a roster standpoint on a franchise there's no minor league system and even trades were pretty simple to do i went to the uh the astros because i wanted to pick up carlos correa to play shortstop for our, the cubs and i just selected david Bodie, victor caratini and remember this is a strict trade system but the astros still you know accepted it which i thought was really weird so after setting the lineup setting the, the rotation and everything I decided to sim to the end of the season and this is just the standings you know there's no wild card spot that you can like look out for so you kind of just have to figure out yourself if you're in a wild card spot or not so luckily we figured out we were we made the postseason and again there really isn't too much in terms of depth in this franchise mode which again is really disappointing it's pretty much a very simplistic casual way of playing franchise it's really just like a seasons mode that previous mlb games have put into their their games so you can see we got eliminated the first round we decided to head into the offseason i was hoping maybe there's some free agency maybe there's a draft and there isn't there's nothing for you to add to your team you get one selection in kind of this very basic draft and you get to select one player here and that's really about it that's the only way you can add new players to your team that aren't already in the mlb which again very disappointing this franchise mode lacks a lot in terms of depth it's a very cookie cutter very standard franchise mode it's it's just seasons like there's no new free agents thrown into the free agents pool really the only way you're making a team is if you trade or you go deep into this franchise mode with selecting new players from that one player draft that you get to do so that outside of that i'm i'm really disappointed in rbi baseball this year i thought they would you know put a little bit more in the franchise mode and gameplay into animations and stuff so overall i would save your money i would just invest it into a playstation and get mlb the show it's just so much better in terms of gameplay uh, the franchise mode is more in-depth. It's just a lot better made game and unfortunately I was a little disappointed because Xbox you guys need a game, but it's just not happening with RBI baseball I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that like button down below